Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, the uh, high temperatures over the last couple of weeks. Let's take a look. We had some uh, mild temps. Remember, before that cold shot of air came in, lasted for several days. But, you know, we had a very warm uh, G uh, December and then early January. And then, well, we had the cold air just recently. But, you know, yesterday we topped off at 53. Today, going for a high of 66. We're going to warm things up dramatically over the next uh, couple of days. 71 on Thursday, 71 Friday. We are going to dip the temperatures going into Saturday and Sunday. But we're not going back to the levels we just saw. You know, 50s, hey, we can handle that. That's still above average even. But uh, we will be back in the 40s for a couple of days early next week. Now, rain chances with some of these days. Take a look today. Stray shower to the south, maybe a sprinkle around this morning. But otherwise, we should see a quiet day. And then in the evening, some isolated showers. Not much, though. Uh, Thursday morning, fairly dry. Isolated shower, maybe. But in the afternoon, some scattered showers. Friday, the jury's still out, believe it or not. Um, some models going with quite a bit of rain. Some models going very little and maybe a lot at the end of the day. We'll take a look at one of them coming up in just a moment. But right now, we got a warm front that is uh, pulling up from the south. <laughs> it's going to move through the area today. And we're going to have some warmer temperatures. The, the humidity will be going up, too. So, you know, eventually we're going to get some showers out of this next couple of days. But right now, most of the rain is over there around Mississippi and Louisiana. And there's not even just uh, heavy rain, but also some thunderstorms down that way. Now, Super Doppler 10, any rain here? Well, yeah, we got a couple of sprinkles on western Bertie County. We've had a couple of sprinkles over the Outer Banks, but even those are falling apart. So most of that should move out by about 9 a.m. We'll have some clearing out there around midday. That clearing should allow the temperatures to warm up along with the south winds, and that warm front will be moving north. So that's when we get that rapid warming in the afternoon. This would be nice. I don't know if we're going mostly sunny, but I definitely think we'll be partly sunny, and it's looking good. We'll have warm temperatures in the 60s, even some upper 60s to the south. And then going past uh, 6 o'clock, we'll have more clouds tonight. I think even around 6 might be some isolated showers. Our model's not showing too much. Pretty quiet tomorrow morning, maybe a stray shower in the region, but uh, in the afternoon, scattered showers move in from the west. Not going to be a washout, but yeah, lots of scattered showers out there from the uh, mid-afternoon into the evening hours. Now, this is the GFS model. It's one of the wetter models that are out there. And so this is Thursday night and a Friday. Look at all that rain that's out there. Quite a bit uh, going into the afternoon. It kind of hangs for a little while. Our model has a lot less. So we'll split the difference for now going the 50% chance of rain, but we'll pinpoint it by tonight and tomorrow. Today, 65 Virginia Beach, 66 Norfolk, 67 Kilowatt Hills, mix of sun and clouds, isolated evening showers. 60 in Melfa, 63 Hampton, 66 Newport News, and 64 in Williamsburg. Winds out of the south today on the water, 5 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 3 feet. Keep in mind, if you go out on the water, the bay temperature did cool down quite a bit, so the air temps are warm, but that water is still cold. So just bear that in mind for safety. Low 70s for highs tomorrow and Friday will be in the 50s over the weekend. Rain chances do go up, unfortunately, but not a washout.